Hello, welcome to a quick unboxing of the Chamba T12 Open TX transmitter. So let's get started. Removing that shiny stuff here. guide so let's go through the specifications really quick it has no battery so it uses the AA batteries or you can use a dual lipo 12 channels it's the same LCD as the QX7 resolution wise and um, dimension wise yeah USB 3.5 millimeter jack and then there's the multi module i'm not 100 sure it's yeah it's already there okay so that will support like fr sky and spectrum dsmx dsm2 and all that stuff and will support omtex or er sky 9x and as far as i know omtex is now ported as Champa tx or you can use the rsky 9x version that's um, being developed right now as well firmware updates concern blah 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 let's look at the back introduction okay that's actually the front page so we have the buttons the menu blah 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 i think that's enough let's put this to the side so box in here uh, nice color actually, I kind of like it. So let's get to this transmitter itself. It's pretty tiny and if you're a pincher it might feel a bit awkward, but actually I'm not a pincher, so I'm not really qualified to say that, but I actually don't think it's a problem. I'm not sure why some are stating it's too small for that, but as a founder it's really cool it's so small. I was looking for a small transmitter, so I'm really looking forward to playing with this one. And I have the, oh, let's just take a look at this, so a USB cable. And I think this is if you want to change the ratchet. Or to be precise, the mode. This is mode two. If you want probably to be here, you will have to change it like that. So let's put this aside and what? the Tyrannus over here so this is my uh, it's not my primary remote because I'm a spectrum guy I fl fly a black edition DX9 but for crossfire I use this one and I actually bought the micro for this one so I get a small package really small package this one so that's why I was looking for an OpenTX transmitter that was capable of full speed CRFS and as we all know, uh, FR Sky is kind of bottlenecking Crossfire with the QX7 and the other radios. So basically, the um, the Taranis Plus is the only radio that's, that supports full speed CRSF, CRSF, and this one. So yeah, that's why I went with this one. So here's the multi module. You can, as I already mentioned, use it for spectrum and all that kind of stuff, and Crossfire. So let me just remove it really quickly here. Now let's try and know this is going to be fiddly. Because the little pins need to line up, but yeah, that's actually nice. Cool. So I probably need to buy a <laughs> shorter antenna for this one. But yeah, can't turn it on because there are no batteries inside. Ooh. So that's very bay. And I'm not sure if I have some here to blow it up right away. But actually that's a two S balance lead, so I might be able to let me grab one. And we have one. So let's check if polarity is right, otherwise that would be a rumor. 
Yeah, it is. Did not remember that I actually have one. That's a pretty small one, obviously. But yeah. Just for testing purposes. Oh, and then it opens up. Open TX, switch warning. Cool. So yeah, that's one of the bugs that's reported. The uh, buzzer will beep with the crossfire. So let me just remove that really quick. And put back the audio. So yeah. I like that the screen is pretty small because the resolution is higher if you compare that to the... Welcome to well, OpenTX. It's, it's wrong to say the resolution is higher, but the pixel density, so the uh, dots per whatever, per inch square or something. So you can see it's more... Yeah, I love the, back I love the backlight. It's a little bit uneven, but still I love it. Cool. And you can really see the size difference. I can I can see why pinches would love love this more, but I basically don't really care honestly. So yeah, so the springs are pretty pretty weak, but well, I can see me getting comfortable with this. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think that be enough for the unboxing. I will do a review on RC groups but yeah love it the col color is kind of weird but nothing I would consider ugly love it got pentameters which is feel nice yeah cool love it okay okay so not sure what else I should say on unboxing that's more than enough so thanks for watching and see you in the next one